Hey guys, I'm currently in Spain at a circus festival in Albacete and I'm performing here with Fossis. It's four days of festival and then there is like another show of gala shows. It's actually our first contract back since the Moulin Rouge. We finished working at the Moulin Rouge at the beginning of this year, so that's big news and a big change. Now we're doing more freelancing stuff again. So here we are in Albacete. And I thought since I haven't done any vlogs in a while on this channel, why not jump back in with a little Q&A? and get this thing flowing again and get me used to talk to the camera again. I asked you guys on Instagram and I'm gonna answer them right now. We actually had um, a general rehearsal of our show this morning. This is why I am looking like this. And tonight is the premiere of our show, so now in between I have a little bit of time and I'm going to answer your questions. In no real order, just how they come. Question number one, any tours in the Middle East? There's nothing planned in the Middle East so far. I would love to go there. If you have any shows to propose us, why not? What's your favorite discipline to watch? What's your favorite discipline to do? This is a very interesting question because I think the most interesting discipline to do for myself is not see a wheel, is hand to hand. And I always wanted to be a hand-to-hand -hand flyer since I'm like super small, but I'm too big and too heavy to be that. So sometimes I get to fly on friends of mine just for fun, like for example, Sergei, here's a little video we did together. And uh, that was like such a cool experience. I also really like doing handstands. And what I like watching the most, that is actually really hard because I think if it's a good act, it doesn't need to be a certain discipline that I will like more than others. Like I think a good act Whatever discipline it is, I like it. What I tend to like often is teeterboard because I really like the flying of it. And I really like duo acts. I have a preference for duo over solo because you add, on top of having the skill and the performance, you add the connection between the two people. And I think that is very special and I think that's something that I really like to watch. Are there any exercises you recommend to get better at handstands? Um, I think to get better handstands, the best way is to do handstands the most you can and to just work on the strength around the shoulders. Press to handstand, any type of press to handstand from standing, from sitting, is really good strengthening exercise to strengthen your whole. I think another thing that helps for handstands is having somebody spot you to hold you and to put you really in the right position because sometimes it's, a hard, it's hard to feel where you're at when you're upside down. So it's easier to have it, have somebody put you there. Ferrari or Lamborghini? Um, honestly, I'm not much into cars and it just needs to drive and be comfortable. So I guess both will be nice. Cristiano or Messi? Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm really not into football and or into soccer and um, both, none, I don't know. Samsung or Apple? Um, I use Apple for all I do, like for my editing, for my phone, for everything. But that doesn't mean that I like it better or that it is better. I think Apple is too expensive for what it is. That just started at one point and I kept it the same way. But um, I don't think there should be any preference. What superpower do you like? Disappear, read people's minds or fly? Definitely fly. Like, definitely fly. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Best gig ever, huh? The best gig ever. Best gig ever is a good question because like, I've done lots of different gigs. I've worked with companies, I've worked solo, I've worked, worked duo. I've worked places where you fly in one day, you do your act, you fly out the next day. I've done stuff where you stay for a long time, like in the Moulin Rouge, we stayed for two years. So it always depends on where you're at in life and who the people are on the gig. I think that makes a gig really great. So for example, when I did Circopolis, this was my very first contract. I did in solo and I was doing like a world tour with a show. I really liked that. Not just because of the group and the people I met, but also because it was my first contract. You know what I mean? So for example, last year, another gig I really liked it was Feuerwerk der Tonkunst. And it was a great gig because the group of people were super motivated and it was like super, like the energy around it was really, really good. But it was also a moment, I had been working at the Moulin Rouge for one whole year and I've 
like you got really used to that and it's not really a circus show it's more of a dance show so I didn't really always belong there I felt so then going to the circus show um, in the middle of it like after one year Moulin Rouge we went one month to do five day tone comes and then one year again of Moulin Rouge it was a contact that really showed me like it showed me what circus was again I kind of had forgotten about circus in a way water running I'm sitting here by the way in a little terrace of my hotel here in Albacete I thought this was a good place to film it showed me what circus was again like the connection of people and how you train together and all of that I'd forgotten I'd kind of not forgotten that but I hadn't seen that in a while so that was a very special contact to me and then there's always these places where you kind of fly into somewhere it's a location where it's warm and it's like it feels like going on holiday but you're working like for example I went to Greece once like that or uh, to Dubai like we've done a, a thing where Francis and me went to Dubai and the first day we were spent at the beach and the next day we were performing but it felt like workation I've done a great video about work workation for me workation is always the best type of gig okay whew. this was a long answer to a very short question how was it to be a student at ENC ENC is uh, l'école nationale de cirque the national service school in Montreal I think this is a very big question for a very long answer so I might do another video about that in specific because I've get lots of questions about that but basically it was great I loved being in that school I thought it was perfect for me um, I had never known anything like, I had never done circus before I had learned everything there and that meant like from artistic to to technique to how to create a show how to create an act all of that and I thought it was a great great place to learn all of that in a great community in a feel together of people and um, it is also a very intense school and basically for the three years you were there all you do is circus like basically you wake up circus and you go to bed circus like basically you spend your whole time training researching watching shows just circus submerging so I love to submerge but not everybody wants to Voila, great school. I would recommend it to the people who really want to go for it. To what extent could we apply the principles of quantum field theory to your field of work? Um, this question comes from my friend Rami. Rami is a very smart guy. I will give Rami a very smart answer. Rami, it is currently 4 o'clock in the morning. I tried to figure out how the quantum field theory could affect my field of work. I did not come up with a good answer other than we use a lot of energy and somehow energy is going to be important in this equation. But if you guys, if anybody out there finds a good answer to Rami's question, please leave it in the comments. The best answer gets a personal handwritten um, postcard from me. Challenge is on. Are you happy? I am very happy. Yes. Are you happy? Do you like football? I guess you mean soccer. Um, I like playing it, like on the beach or in the park. I don't like watching it. I think it's very boring. Sorry, I don't want to offend anybody, but it's not really my type of sport. Also, when will you start doing your travel vlogs? Um, I will do travel vlogs when I travel again. And actually, I just started traveling again, so there will be more travel vlogs coming. There are quite a few travel vlogs on my other YouTube channel, the Unity Adventure channel, where I travel together with Francis. If you want to see my travel vlogs, check them out up here. What do you do when you feel tired from work? I like if my body is tired, I would try to make my body feel good again. So that could be either like what I really like for that is hot baths or massages. I really like stretching also. I feel that always keeps you like kind of makes you feel better. And I guess when you work with your body, you also get used to a different state of being tired and you get to know your body really well. So I'm not sure if this answers your question, but um, I do try to take care of my body. Can we watch your show via YouTube or internet? I'm not really sure which show you mean, but I guess like my acts, all of my acts are either on my channel, my solo acts and my duo acts are on the Duo Unity channel, linked up here. When will you come back to Ulm? Ulm is where I grew up, it's my town where I went to school and where I have my friends from high school and all of that. I couldn't come back to Ulm since a while because I was working in Paris and I just had one day off per week so I couldn't come home to one of my homes. I will come back to Ulm as soon as I can. I have a few gigs coming up but nothing like super blocked so as soon as I will and then I will let you know and I'll come visit you. What are your favorite movies? 
And this is a tough question because there are so many good movies out there. I can definitely tell you the best movie from last year which really resonated with me was Call Me By Your Name. I love that movie, like the style, the story, the everything about it. Like in general what I like are movies that are set in real life, like that are realistic. And uh, I love, I like love stories, but like also realistic love stories. Not, I don't really like those romantic comedies too much. But for example, the Before series, Before Sunrise, Before Sunset, Before Midnight, I really like those three because they are so realistic. What else could we put in? For example, La Vida Del or Mon Roi. I really like one Mon Roi. But I feel also again with movies, maybe that's just something what is running and again I feel like with movies maybe it's just something about me but I feel a good movie hits you in the right moment of like right moment in your life so if you're going through something like if you're going through a breakup and you see a breakup movie it kind of resonates with you deeper if you're falling in love and you see a falling in love movie it resonates with you deeper does that make any sense so I feel there's good movies per se but there's also the movie that you watch in the right moment in time that will stay with you in a special connection and I feel I have more of those than the movies that are just good movies. So this was it about the questions I asked you like yesterday. The thing is, to be totally honest with you, I asked you questions already like a month ago on Instagram and I couldn't find them anymore. So that's why I posted the thing again. But then I could find, then I found them again. So actually I found them now. And so I'm thinking about just making a part two with the old questions. So if you want to listen to more questions, you, I will make a second video and this was, will, will be called Q&A part two, I guess. Jump there right away and watch my second same place, what I will do right away. Um, if you had enough questions, because I can understand that this can bet a bit, that this can get a little bit long, me talking to you just like that. Um, the act we're performing here right now is our new act with the new music, new costumes, a little bit of new changes. It's the kind of basic same act, but we made a new video of this act, which I directed. So if you haven't seen that yet, I would be very happy if you would want to see it I mean it's very up to you but I will link it right here at the end of the video so that you get a chance to see it and yeah that's it so um, this was fun to talk to the camera again I will try to do this more and I feel I say this at the end of every video so we will see what happens but first Q&A number two